How the Leopard Got His Spots. Yobo was a little African boy who was born with a piece of magic yam in his hand. It was small enough to fit into his tiny palm. As Yobo grew, the yam remained with him, but it didn't grow as he did. Yobo kept it with him always. And because it was magic, it remained fresh. It never dried out, and it kept him safe. One day, Yobo went to collect wood from the forest. His mother called to him, don't forget your yam. His father called to him, don't forget your yam. He collected the wood, and while he was tying it up, he placed the tiny bit of yam on a rock nearby. Then, lifting the wood to his head, he set out for home and forgot to take the yam. Now the animals of the forest had heard of this boy and his magic yam, and they had been hiding in the grass and watching him. They saw him put the yam on the rock and forget it. After he left, they came out of hiding and stared at the yam. I will take it, said the leopard. It must be powerful magic. And the spider said, no, I will take it. It's a better size for me. And one by one, all the animals began arguing. But before Yobo reached home, he remembered the piece of yam. And dropping the firewood by the side of the path, he ran back as fast as he could to the rock place. He was very surprised and frightened to see so many wild animals surrounding it. He started to sing from fright and calm himself. Oh, little yam, my little yam, how could I forget you? My mother told me, my father told me, and now I've come to get you. Well, the animals had never heard a song. They liked the way it sounded. They made him sing it over and over again. And then some of them began humming and drumming, and they all joined in and danced and sang his song. And while they were singing... They forgot the magic yam. Yobo gradually moved closer to the rock, and when they weren't looking, he picked up the yam, and he hid it in his clothes. And while they were dancing, he slipped away, and he ran home. Suddenly, the leopard noticed, Where is that boy? He has taken the yam. And all the animals stopped and stared. We are fools, said the elephant. He kept us singing and took it away. He must be stopped, said the leopard. You run after him, elephant, and bring him back. I shall do no such thing. It's your idea. You bring him back. Yes, I will go, and then the magic yam will be mine alone, said the leopard. And he ran off quickly in the direction of the village. The boy, in the meantime, had run home, not even stopping to pick up the firewood. He told his mother what had happened. Now the boy's mother, like many village women, kept busy by dyeing cloth. When she heard her son's story, she feared the animals would come and hurt them all. So she called all the village women, and they all took dye sticks that they used to mix the dye. The sticks were stained and wet with the dark indigo dye they used. Sure enough, they heard him. The leopard, sniffing and snuffling and growling. With a great snarl, he rushed into the compound. Someone closed the door behind him, and he found himself in a circle of village women, all holding big sticks covered with dripping dark dye. And then they all started to poke him and prod him and beat him and beat him and beat him until all of his body was stained with the marks of the dye. With a great howl! He finally managed to push open the door and escape. He ran and he ran and he ran and he ran and he ran back deep into the forest. And since that day, all leopards have spots, which are the marks of the dye sticks on their bodies. And no animal has gone looking for yams in the towns of men.